Hello, I'm Dr Hannah O'Regan from the Department of Classics and Archaeology at the University of Nottingham and I'm just going to talk to you today about this. This is a vase, uh, about 30 centimetres high, very nice and shiny, with pictures of fish on it. Now, um, this vase is an object. We can look at it and we could study what it's made from. Uh, so we could use different techniques to look at the glazes. We could look at the te different techniques to look at the um, type of ceramics it's made from, because this is pottery. We could um, look at the method with which it's been made. Was it thrown on a wheel? Was it coil built? Or was it made in a mould? So these are all things that we could look at. So we could look at the technology and how this was made. We could also, when we were looking at uh, the materials it's made from, so the fabric, the ceramics that it's made from, or from the glazes, we could analyse those and see if we could get any information about um, where it was made. So the clay may be uh, local to the geology of where it was made, or the glazes may tell us specific information again about the chemistry and the geology of um, the um, elements that make up those glazes, and that may tell us something about where it was made. So it could tell us something about trade telling us something, it's telling us all sorts of things about technological innovations, it's telling us something about trade, and of course this has been made by somebody. Someone has sat down and made this beastie, um, they've painted all the fish on, and um, so this has been in the hands of someone uh, before. Now in an archaeological sense this could have been, if I would, had excavated this, depending on the age of the site, it could have been in somebody's hands a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, um, or more. Now, for this vase, I can tell you it's been in my hands for about ten years because I bought it at the British Museum in their shop. And it's an Iranian vase, so it has travelled from uh, Iran. And I bought it on my way back from a memorial conference for a colleague of mine, uh, Dr Roger Jacobi, who was actually a lecturer at the University of Nottingham many years ago. And so this vase, when I look at it, is both a lovely vase covered in fish, but it's also a memory of a, a kind and valued colleague. Um, and so there is an intrinsic value to this that I um, recognise when I see it. But as an archaeologist digging it up, say, in a grave, we would not recognise. But we can recognise when we find things that they have a purpose, they have a meaning, they would have had a meaning to the person um, that had had them. So for something like a kitchen dish, perhaps not that much meaning other than it being utilised, um, but for something that you might find in a grave, perhaps it carries just that little bit more of the life. And that for me is archaeology, finding out about the past, finding out about the people and finding out about their stories. And that's why I study archaeology.